Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. So starting on Friday, July 1st, the new mini holiday catalog and the celebration brochure goes live. So I thought I would come in and do some of the celebration items that you can get for free when you purchase out of the mini catalog or the um, annual catalog doesn't matter which catalog you purchase from, even the clearance rack will count towards it. So I decided to pull out one of the stamp sets and the designer series paper, it's actually a bundle, and do a card for that. But before we get to crafting, I just wanna say hi to everybody. If you're just logging on, say hi so I know you're here. Hopefully you guys have had a great day. I did. I spent a few hours this morning out in the studio and then I was determined to finish my book today. I don't get a whole lot of time to just sit and read. I actually have zero time for sit and read, but there's a specific book that I wanted to finish before the movie comes out and I made myself finish it today. So I am super excited. It was a little slow in the beginning and I was, you had to like be determined to finish the book. Um, but after I got through the first few chapters, it was a really, really good book. So I'm excited that I got it done. And now I can finish concentrating on finishing the prep for the retreat. So yes, that was my day in a nutshell. So hopefully you guys had had a good day as well. If you're just logging on, say hi. So I know you're here. And I haven't really ever said this, and I was talking to one of my girlfriends today, and she said I should mention it. So in the description of what you need for today's live, I did put a link to my YouTube channel. So when I get done doing a live, I upload everything to YouTube. So you don't have to scroll back through Facebook to see um, a specific card that I've done. You can go straight to my YouTube channel and hit the little subscribe button and it will take you right to the video you're looking for. So that's just a little added bonus, and thanks, Bev, for telling me to do it, because I never in a million years thought to include that in the little description. So anyway, I am going to scoot you over, and we are going to start our crafting. I think I heard it on my iPad go off, so let me just triple check. Yep, there it is. Okay, so let me bring in the designer series paper and the stamp set. So this is free with a $100 purchase. So you get the beautiful stamp set and it um, doesn't have any sentiments. And I actually didn't pull any sentiments in for these cards because I thought they could be used for multiple things. I thought they could be used definitely for a birthday um, you could send it to uh, get well, you could send it for sympathy, really you could send it for anything. So that's why I didn't do any sentiments. I just concentrated on the beautiful three flowers. This is the designer series paper. You can actually see which ones we're using tonight because I just opened it to cut for tonight. They're double-sided and they're just beautiful on both sides. I know when I was talking to Bev, earlier, she said, I just overlooked it. I didn't think it was something I wanted. And then I showed her the cards we were doing tonight. And she's like, yep, I'm going to have to order that now. So until you really see it and get your hot hands on it, it's hard to like explain the beauty that's in all of this designer series paper. So this is the pack. So fun. And you could really fussy cut these guys out if you wanted to and use it as your whole focal point on your card. We didn't do that today. We're not fussy cutting. And then I decided to bring in the um, olive, the old olive and Sahara sand, um, the uh, ribbon set, the ribbon combo. There is no old olive in this paper, but it really paired well with it. So that's why I went ahead and used those two colors with the ribbon. That actually is a bundle for this guy the happy forest friends the ribbon matches the designer series paper perfect um, and that's what it pairs with but i actually thought it worked really well with these cards that i'm doing tonight also so let me bring in the ribbon just to show you guys so this is the pack you get two spools and i believe it's five yards each so it's a total of 10 yards so you do get five yards each of this ribbon so let me bring in the card i'm going to show you guys how to make so this is it. It is very simple, very elegant. So that's why I didn't put a, sen a sentiment on it because I thought you could really use it for anything you wanted. And 
the old, I did pull in some old olive cardstock to match the old olive ribbon, but it really paired well with the designer series paper. And then like last week, I used these fun gems. I used the Melon Mambo gems on this one because the backing is done out of Melon Mambo. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna set this, prop it up so I know I have my example. So let's start with the one that I just showed you. So I have a piece of very vanilla and I cut it at four and a quarter by 11. So I'm just gonna fold it in half and give it a good score. And I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna bring in the old olive. So I went ahead and ran this through the embossing folder with the flower and, and flower and something embossing folder. I did forget the name of it. So I already ran that through and I cut a piece of our designer series paper. This is three by four. Just remember if it's directional specific um, and you cut it the wrong way on accident, it's okay, just flip your card the opposite way and do this way instead of your original way. So there, don't ever think that you've just wasted a bunch of paper because you cut it all the wrong direction. You can still use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of off center that a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. So just put some adhesive on the back and I'm just gonna kind of cattywampus it a little bit. There we go. Hello, Anna and Valerie, Bev, hello ladies. Okay, so then these two pieces, this is Melon Mambo, and I have a couple different dimensions beside me, so I wanna make sure I get this right. So this is two by two and a half. So this is two and a quarter by one and three fourths. So I'm gonna bring in a piece of scratch paper because we are gonna do a little bit of stamping and then a little bit of coloring. So with this stamp set, I am using the rose right here. And I tried to stamp just the top in the Melon Mambo and then the bottom in Old Olive. And I struggled a little bit. And then I thought to myself, Sarah, why are you struggling when you can totally cut the stem off and do two separate stamps? And they butt up next to each other. So it really is very easy to line these up when you're stamping. So let me grab the Melon Mambo. So I'm gonna ink up the top flower and I'm gonna come in and stamp. Perfect. Clean this off as we go. I don't need the Melon Mambo anymore. So I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna bring in the Old Olive. So the Old Olive, I'm gonna ink up the bottom and I'm going to just turn it to the side a little bit so I can see where I'm stamping. So I'm just coming up here and I'm butting it up to the bottom of the rose. There we go. See how easy that was? Okay, so one last thing before we put this on our card. The original card kind of looks like that I stamped it on very vanilla because the card base is very vanilla, but I didn't. I actually did stamp it on the basic whites and I'm gonna take our blending brushes and I'm gonna dab it in the old olive and I'm gonna take a majority of it off. And then I'm just gonna come down here and do a little coloring. This is just going to make it so it's not so stark white, but I didn't want it super creamy either. I just wanted to give it a hint of color. We are actually gonna be using the old olive, so I'm gonna keep that pretty close. So I'm gonna scoot this out of the way and I'm just gonna go ahead and attach these two pieces together. And while that dries for a second, I'm gonna bring in my ribbon. And there isn't any Sahara sand in this designer series paper. I don't think the video is gonna show, but inside the daisies, I think those are, I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's a little bit cream. So I actually thought this ribbon worked really well with this paper also. So I'm gonna grab some mini glue dots. Put one on one side, line it up, and I don't really want a, too much to wrap around, enough where it's not gonna fray, but I don't wanna waste so much of our ribbon. And this side I'm just gonna trim off, put another mini glue dot, 
hopefully, yep, that came off on it. Wrap that around. So we have the one ribbon down. And I don't know if you've know if you noticed, but I doubled the ribbon. So I'm gonna come in with our old olive and do that same thing again. Put a mini glue dot on the ends. Make sure it's centered. That's probably the hardest part. And then trim this off. I'm actually gonna lay this down and grab my take your pick tool and lift off on that one. Just to make sure it doesn't rip my page. There we go. So there we go. That is how you do kind of a double ribbon. I don't know what it's called. I just made that up. Grab some dimensionals. We're gonna do one in each corner and absolutely one in the center just to be safe. And this one, I'm gonna come in and kind of lay him go in the opposite direction. You could put him straight on, but I kind of liked it a little cockeyed. There we go. I went ahead and tied a couple of our bows already. And this is in the same ribbon that I used. And I really did think about putting it in the center or maybe down here at the bottom, but I ended up just putting them up top. Sometimes when you pop your, your um, focal point up and then you add a ribbon on top of it, um, it makes it a little bit too thick to go through the mail. So I try not to, if I use dimensionals, I try not to do too much to make it even thicker, just so it doesn't cost extra postage. So we're gonna put some adhesive right on those ribbon pieces just to make sure that they are secured and lay this down. Just hold it there for quick seconds. And then we can only use um, these gems on this card because this is Melon Mambo. Um, the other color we're gonna be doing is Rich Razzleberry. You could use the Gorgeous Grape with Rich Razzleberry, but it isn't a, as close of a color match as I would like it. So there we go. Look how easy peasy these cards are. And I didn't do a sentiment purposely because I don't know what I need these for. I could definitely flip it up and put a happy birthday. I could put some a sympathy message in there. Um, you could really use them for anything. Okay, so let's do this one. So this one is, we're gonna be using this flower. And because this flower is a little bit larger, I did have to make my dimensions on my cardstock a little bit bigger. I did put the, descript the uh, measurements in before I went live. So our basic white is two and a half by two, and this is two and three fourths by two and a quarter. So it is a tiny bit bigger. So let's go ahead and start by folding. And we're gonna set this aside so it's not in our way. And then I can go ahead and glue this piece down. And you could really use either side. Either side of the designer series paper, whatever you're feeling at the moment. There we go, set that aside and let's bring in our scratch paper. Hello, Stephanie and hello, Jessica. So this one I am going to stamp in Rich Razzleberry and I just re-inked it. So hopefully it is not super duper juicy, but it was a little bit dull in the beginning. Okay, so I'm just going to get the um, flowers. I am not gonna get too much of the stem. Oh, there we go, perfect. And you know what I forgot to do with our other card? Hold on. I did bring some envelopes, there they are. I did bring some envelopes out to stamp the envelope as well and I forgot on the other card. So we will just do that really quick while we have the ink outs. I'm just gonna come down here and stamp him right in the corner. There we go. So that's all we need the rich razzleberry for but I am gonna bring in the old olive because I kinda of wanna make it where it's not so stark white. 
So I wanna add a tiny bit of color to it. So I'm gonna put my blender and I'm gonna rub majority of it out. And then I'm just going to gently glide the blender over. And it just makes it where it's not so stark white. And this is the color I was actually telling you about um, that we couldn't use the gorgeous grape. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, let me bring this in. The gorgeous, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do gorgeous grape on this one. I guess I could have brought over some of the um, the new ink colors because that is one of the colors, Orchard Oasis. That is one of the colors in this designer series paper. But I didn't think about that till just now. So this one isn't going to have any gems on it. We're gonna put one in the center, but before I take those off, I'm gonna bring in my ribbon. I definitely love this ribbon look, so I'm gonna do them on all the cards. And if you're coming to the July retreat, you will definitely be seeing a lot of this ribbon. This ribbon combination pack was used for a lot of our make and takes. So you will be able to have hands-on time with it. You'll be able to do wonders with it. Let me grab the old olive one. Just kind of make sure it's lined up before you flip that over. Trim this off. And I'm gonna lay this down and grab a dimensional. Oops, I almost skipped one. There we go. So now we can put this card together. It literally goes together so fast. And that's what I love about doing these lives is I know all of us are super busy and you may not have 12 hours to get into your craft room and work, but it doesn't have to take that long. Cut some designer series paper, run it through the embossing machine and bam, you're done. There we go. And then one last ribbon. Uh, I don't know, this one might, oh, it's just going to go in the same spot. Why reinvent the wheel when it looks super cute, right? Okay, so there is the um, Rich Razzleberry. That's this one. And let's bring in our last card. This one is the same dimension as the first one because this flower um, is the same size. So let's go ahead and start by folding your card base. Set that to the side. Make sure our flowers are going the right direction. Kind of center that cattywampus a tad bit. Set that aside so it can dry. Bring in our scratch paper. And this time I am using Flirty Flamingo. So. On this stamp, I could have also kind of cut the leaves, the stems off, but I really liked it. Um, I really liked it done in the Flirty Flamingo. <laughs> I just said it and then I forgot what I was talking about. So I really liked it done in the Flirty Flamingo and I think I want to flip that down just a hair. I think it was a little too high. So I'm going to come down just a tad bit. There we go, much better. And again, that's all we need this ink for. And I'm gonna bring in the old olive because I wanna color it again. And I probably have enough ink on here. It doesn't take much. So you really could not have to ink it every single time. And it just gives it, I think you could use the very vanilla if you didn't have the old olive. You could really use um, very vanilla cardstock for it, but I think it just gives it a little bit more depth using the blender pen, or the blender pen, using the, um, the blends. 
Oh, they're not even called blends. What are these guys called? I don't know. I lost my wording. Thank you, Jessica. It's just a different way to use the set and it's free, so we might as well use it. So I'm gonna set that aside so it can dry. Bring in some more ribbon. We can't forget the ribbon. We'll wrap this around the bottom. And I really always um, use my ribbon off of the spool. Uh, I think it saves on waste. Not that it really is that big of a deal if you're wasting a tiny bit of ribbon. Um, and I don't even think you could waste ribbon, honestly. But if you wonder why I do it on the spool, that's why. I just try to conserve it. One wouldn't think I needed to if you saw my ribbon rack in my craft room. I should probably use more of it. <laughs> but it's so beautiful. I was doing a bunch of bows for the retreat um, during card class a couple weeks ago, and I had them all um, positioned on the mini glue dot strips. And it was actually big enough for a sash. And Jessica, she's actually on, she told me, she's like, you should put that on as a sash because it was so pretty, all the big bows and ribbon on um, the mini glue dot strips. So you could really make a sash if you're going to a bachelorette party or um, a bridal party, you could make your the new bride a sash, a bow sash. Okay. So now we can do the finishing touches on this last card. And I forgot to stamp the envelope. Darn it. That's okay. Once this, I'll let that dry for a second and I will bring in the flirty flamingo and another envelope because we can't have any naked envelopes. And this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp all the way up. There we go. And we are kind of good on time. So I'm just going to quickly do the other one. The other two, actually. It'll just take a quick second. So I'm going to do the top of the rows. I'm going to go a little bit higher because I'm not 100% sure where the bottom is going to land. And yes, if you're just logging on, I did cut my stamps up. It was just a heck of a lot easier for me to work with it. There we go. Oh, this rose is absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely gorgeous. Love, love, love. I actually think my sister has a tattoo of a rose that kind of looks like that. <laughs> Completely off the record. <laughs> She's probably going to kill me for saying that. I didn't say where it was. But I think her rose does look kind of like that. I should have her send me a picture. <laughs> She's definitely going to kill me. Okay, so we're going to off-center that guy. Grab our last mini glue dots for this bow. And I will bring all of the cards back in. And I did all the envelopes. So here is, oops, wrong one. So here is the flirty flamingo. Let's make sure you guys can see that. Here is the Melon Mambo. This one is the Rich Razzleberry. And this one is another of the Melon Mambo. So look how easy and gorgeous these cards are. They definitely are going to put a smile on somebody's face. Cannot wait to get those into the mail. So thank you everybody for joining me. Do you remember that July 1st is when the new catalog and the celebration items start? Um, it, if you are coming to the July retreat and you do have your order ready, definitely send it to me because I'm going to place as many orders as I can for, on July 1st, just to make sure that there's no back orders. Um, but other than that, I will be in the studio tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday's card class. So hopefully I see many of you guys on Saturday for card class. Ooh. My earpiece just fell out. Hopefully it didn't mess up the audio. Okay, that's the end of it. We'll talk to you guys on Thursday. See you soon. Bye-bye.